Jason Owen here from Playit Software. Today I'm going to take you through the new features in Playit Live version 1.17. Okay, the first big feature in this new version is sweepers. Sweepers allow you to play dry jingles or other items over the start of songs so that there's a nice, really tight segue between the previous song and the next song. So this is achieved through what I call segue styles. This is essentially uh, presets about how one song leads into another song. So you set a sweeper to have a segue style of sweep start and it will play the sweeper at the start of the song or you can sweep intro which will play the sweeper just before the intro of the track provided there's enough intro at the start of the song. The next item I want to talk about is automatic ducking on voice tracks. So as well as ducking when you play a sweeper, when you play a voice track, Play It Live can also reduce the volume of a song automatically when you record the voice track. This is much nicer because previously you had to manually adjust the volume and now it does it for you automatically. Next item on the list is album data on tracks. So previously you couldn't store albums on tracks, you could store a comment where you could put the album in there. but. Uh, by popular demand, album data has been added to tracks and will be automatically imported for any new tracks that you add to the system. And finally, break note text expansion. So when you have a break note on your live log, you can now click on this and it will expand out and show the full break note so you can read the text out on air. Right, let's have a look at these new features in Play It Live version 1.17. So here we are in Play It Live. You can download this from playitsoftware.com forward slash live. And first we'll take a look at the new sweeper features. So as you can see here, we've got ATB Don't Stop, which is a song, an ident, and a, another song from the Goo Goo Dolls. So if I click the pencil to edit the segue on this item, it will bring up the segue editor. As you can already see, I've set the segue style to be sweep intro. So this will play the uh, play the end of this song, play the start of the Goo Goo Dolls, and just before the intro, which is defined by this blue line, it will play the intro of the item. So let's uh, have a listen to this. Live, local and all yours. This is Cambridge 105. Okay, so you can hear that play just before the intro of the song. So these are automatically defined. So when I change this segue style to sweep start, for example, it moves the song to the start and it reduces the volume of the track, which you can see by this uh, gray envelope here, which is the uh, effective track envelope. Um, you can manually change the, the envelope by, by changing the points here, but this is what it's showing based on the, the track that's um, over the top of it. This is set by the duck other tracks. You can untick this, it will uh, switch this off. Um, but by default it's on. You can change the stuff in the settings. Um, but when I've got sweep start, it sounds like this. Stop. Live, local and all yours. This is Cambridge 105. Okay, so that's what it sounds like when the track plays at the very start. But because there's an intro there, Play It Live knows it can, it can play that track. So these Idents are marked as sweepers in tracks. I'll show you that in a second. Um, so these, these segue styles, you can go back to the original, which was the Q in, Q out, which uh, is pretty dry when, you, when it sounds like this. Live, local, and all yours. This is Cambridge 105. So with, the sweep, with this intro information, the sweeper can play over the start of the track. So if I change this back uh, to sweep start, Times update. And I've got another uh, ident over the top of James Morrison here. So this ident is actually quite long and the, in the intro of James Morrison is quite short. So it doesn't ever want to clash the vocals. So it will start playing the ident and then it will bring in the start of this track and then into the vocals. Loving life in our city. We are Cambridge 105. So it if there's anything, if the if there's any short intro here, 
um, it will make sure that the intro plays or the sweeper plays first and then brings in the start of the track. So actually in this scenario, sweep intro and sweep start have are no different because it hasn't got the room to, to play with the sweeper. Just showing you how sweepers are, are put together now. So when you uh, have a track, I've got a track group called Sweepers here and uh, Cambridge 105 have donated their jingles once again. When you open this, these are marked as sweeper with a tick box. So this tells Play It Live, yes, you can play this track over the top of an intro of a song. Only tick this box if it's completely dry. There are no beats that are going to clash with the track that it's going to be playing over the top of. There's no fade is, is, a, is a new thing that I've added as well that prevents the track from fading out um, with the settings that you set um, for the fade settings. So if you've got a nice echo on a sweeper or um, or some other effect that you don't want to just fade out, it's not going to clash with the, the rest of the track. You can you can mark this as no fade. So tracks set with sweeper will be used as sweepers. And when you schedule these, they will be using defaults from the settings. So if I have a look in my live assist mode settings, there's a new settings, segue settings option here. So you can set the default sweeper segue style. So when a sweeper is scheduled, it will pick one of these options to use as the default segue style. So originally it would have been essentially queue out to queue in which means once the queue out point of the previous track was hit, it would just jump to the queue in point of the sweeper. And then the next track would play at the queue out of the sweeper. So now you can choose sweep start and sweep intro, which we saw on the segue editor, or you can choose random sweep or random any, which will just choose one of these things to use when it's scheduled. There's also this other option, which we saw for ducking other players so this will duck other players by 25 percent when a sweeper is played and you'll have a an idea of how fast this will happen so generally a second or half a second is a, is a good time to to duck the volume so you can also set the segue style when you're scheduling clocks so for example i've got my afternoon show here and i've got my sweeper song sweeper songs you can see here that I've set the segue style of these sweepers to be uh, sweep start, sweep intro. So whenever this sweeper is scheduled, it will drop it in as a segue style sweep start and will sweep into the intro of the next song when it's scheduled. The same applies for the playout log. As you can see here, my segue style for my ATB song is queue out, queue, out, queue in. And the ident is sweep start. If you try and use sweep start when it's not a sweeper, you can end up with some horrible effects. So only use this for tracks where you actually want to sweep an ident over the top of a song. Next thing I show you is the automatic ducking volume on voice tracks. So I go to record my voice track here. James Morrison is the previous track. Aha, take on me as the next. And I'll just record this track and you'll see the volume changing. It's Jason Morrison and Broken Strings. It's Jason on here on your favorite radio station. Right, it's now time for your favorite Norwegian band. It's AHA and this one is Take On Me. Okay, so that has reduced the volume of Broken Strings. Just need to pull this across to trim the audio at the start of that one. It's using the cue out point of this track as the fade up point, and I can just have a listen to that now. It's Jason Morrison and Broken Strings. It's Jason on here on your favorite radio station. Right, it's now time for your favorite Norwegian band. It's Aha, and this one is Take On Me. So, as you can see there, it's uh, ducked the volume at the start of the track while the voiceover was playing, and then it's bringing up the volume. Finally, a few more things to show you here. I've added the album information to tracks. So if I have a look at ACB, you can see here that I've entered the album moving mel melodies onto that track. And you can see that information is now displayed when you click on an item in the log. 
Additionally, when you look at a brick note, you can see I've entered some of uh, recent news about Amazon.com into this brick note. And whenever you click on this brick note, it will expand out and you can see more information on that item. That's everything in Play It Live version 1.17 and I welcome your feedback in the comments below. I've been Jason Owen from Play It Software. <laughs>